Hey everybody, obviously if you know me, you know that I love spacesuits and very specifically I love helmets. Um, this is the replica helmet for my Mercury spacesuit. I wore it at Comic-Con last year and it's one of the most beautiful helmets in my collection. Like I said, it's a replica. There are some parts that are from uh, real Mercury era hardware. There's a Russian high altitude helmet neck ring, uh, but I love this thing. However, this thing is based the Mercury helmets themselves were based on an earlier Navy high altitude helmet called a Mark IV. And a Mark IV helmet is a, a very rare item. They come up on eBay from time to time. I almost never uh, see them. And when I do, they go for pretty extensive, expensive prices. But recently, a fan reached out to me and offered me a reasonable deal on one because he wanted it to go to a good home. And I have obtained one of my Holy Grail helmets. Regard the Navy High Altitude Mark IV helmet. This thing is so beautiful. Um, first of all, just the case. Check out this case. This, to me, is the gold standard of helmet cases. I've always coveted even the case. Like, I've put the word out to people. If you come across a case, I'll buy that. It's got this great U.S. Navy gold winged logo there. Let's get to the helmet, though. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so I haven't actually bolted it into the, the case. Uh, it slides in using the neck ring locks to secure itself in the case for travel. Look at this thing. Fiberglass. Gold. The labels are in such good shape, they almost look fake. The BF Goodrich label, BF Goodrich, the rubber company, they made these helmets for the Navy. Look at how gorgeous this is. We've got a smoke visor and we've got a clear visor and it's thrilling for me to see the the just perfect optical clarity of military spec uh, helmet face shield. Can you tell I'm excited? Okay, now there is a key difference between the Mercury era helmets and the Mark IV, uh, and you can notice it in that the Mark IV here has a gasket right around the face and the Mercury helmet doesn't. That's because uh, the Mark IV is what's called an open loop system in which the Oxygen is fed right through a pressurized chamber created between the helmet and the wearer's face. I wore the same one of these, a similar one of these, uh, for an episode of Mythbusters that will air later on this year. Uh, but the Mercury helmet does not have that gasket. That's because the entire suit is an oxygen-rich atmosphere for the astronauts. Uh, that's called a closed-loop system. I'm pretty sure I'm getting the open versus closed-loop delineation right. We shot this once before and I got it wrong, so I'm pretty sure I got it right. At any rate... This is, I, oh, I can't put this on, by the way, because it's just too small for me. But it has all of these details that you then see in the Mercury era helmets from the microphones, because my Mercury helmet has correct microphones. And you've got the sewn chamois uh, suede ear cups, which are super, super comfortable. This helmet, aside from a little bit of rubber rot at the bottom of the gasket, is in gorgeous, gorgeous shape. It is now my prized helmet in my helmet collection, which is pretty extensive. Lastly, check it out. It came with its original issuing tag. This was issued about four months before I came to being on this planet. I love Esoterica like this. The, 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 the stamps, the official calibrations, and when it's going to actually run out of its calibration. This is a remarkable piece of military and American space program ephemera, and I just wanted to share it with you, so there you go.